So this is Zork. Uh, on DOSBox. There are a number of ways you can play it, but we have the map cam. I started to write Zork on the top and then didn't finish coloring in all the letters. I have no idea where to start. That's kind of the big a big problem, I feel like, <laughs> anytime we're making maps. Where the hell do you start your map if you don't know where you're going? All I know is that we're west of house. Thank you for opening ASMR. That does not do a very good job. There we go. Mm. There we go. Now we have a functional pencil. Alright, welcome to Zork. A classic text-based adventure inspired by the likes of Colossal Cave Quest, which we've also not played yet, but I think I'd be interested in playing before the, the VR version of it comes out, which is bonkers in the middle of some big graph paper if i had big graph paper i would this is this is the paper that we're working with the biggest paper i could find at a grocery store so it almost worked as a hat multifaceted paper Yes, I probably will try to get a flask at least once today. I don't know if there's a flask in this game. I don't know anything about the setting of it. We're about to find out. This is Zork 1, the Great Underground Empire. It was just Zork, the Great Underground Empire, and now it's Zork 1. But uh, Because there are three parts to my understanding. This says copyright 1981. I put 1980. Eighty or eighty-one. <laughs> west of house, you are standing in an open field west of a white house, with a boarded front door. There's a small mailbox here, so we're gonna start a little west, maybe. Let's draw the box is too big. And <laughs> someone buying pencils, paper, and a pencil sharpener. Actually, no, I had the colored pencils already. And I had this board from the painting class, maybe, or drawing class. And a pencil. The pencil sharpener. Yeah. Mostly just the paper and then also groceries. Let us uh, open mailbox. I have no idea, like, the right verbiage for this, so we might have some trial and error at the start. Opening the small mailbox really reveals a leaflet. Take leaflet? Read leaflet? I hate that it counts our moves. <laughs> Welcome to Zork! Zork is a game of adventure, danger, and low, cu low cunning. In it, you will explore some of the most amazing territory ever seen by mortals. No computer should be without one. Okay. Um, in an open field west of a white house. Should we go to the house? Let's go to the house. The door is boarded and you can't remove the boards. That sentence isn't one I recognize. Look at house? Oh, we need to be a little more grammatically correct. Hi, green wizard. Mumble, mumble. <laughs> it's like an anxiety mechanic, right? <sighs> I'm gonna try to ignore it. Okay, so I believe we went, this was field. I don't know why I'm writing anything above it. I'll probably regret that. Or one square over. Then we're looking at a house. The house is a beautiful colonial house which is painted white. It is clear that the owners must have been extremely wealthy. 
Well, the door is boarded. Do we want to go into the house? Oh, you know what? I'm such a, a silly silly. Because... How can we start a game? Especially one such as this, without first understanding what it is we're dealing with. Uh, so this is the Zork 1 manual. At least the one that I found. With the art that I recognized. I don't know why it's so dark. Oh, just here. It's the Star Wars of interactive computer games. So I've like, I find myself talking to it. Wow! From Lubbock, Texas! A <laughs> minister from Lubbock, Texas. That's 37. That plates work. Cool! Standard level, right? Yeah, I don't know what that means. The Great Underground Empire. A history. Oh. Oh, this must be... Wait, did they actually... I don't know. Oh boy. Okay, so we have some backstory. We have a lot of backstory. Oh my gosh, I want to read this, but I feel like it would be super boring to read out loud. What? Wait, what? Questions, discussions, projects, and further readings? Love a lot of computers back then, right? <laughs> Okay, so there's like an educational history textbook type layout for the world of Zork, it seems. And Dimwit. Lord Dimwit, excuse me. Okay, an instruction manual is what I was really looking for. It's really good. Oh my gosh, there is quite a lot to this manual. Oh, wait, they have a map too? I want that. Wait. What? I haven't even started the game yet, and I want this. This is really cool. To be able to have, like, that map. Oh, I love maps. Okay. Um... Here we go. Okay, so interactive fiction, moving around, turning and scoring. An overview. You're the main character. Uh, I, I understand what an interactive fiction is. Location as a room, even if you're outdoors. As you explore the empire, it's helpful to draw a map of the geography. Yes, it's written in Zorkian. Right? Back when we had so much time. Uh, in Zork, time passes only in response to your input. You might imagine a clock that takes once for each sentence you type. Nothing happens until you press return. There's a score. There may be a penalty for getting killed. Puzzle solving. You should think of a locked door, a ferocious beast, not as a permanent obstacle, but merely as a puzzle to be tackled. Okay. Tips for novices. Draw a map. Some puzzles are almost impossible to solve without completely mapping the area. Note that there are ten possible directions, plus in and out. Since some passages twist and curve, going north from a place A to place B doesn't always mean that south will take you back to place A. Oh no, I don't like that. This is where it picks up my map drawing. Maybe I should take their map notes. What the hell? Okay, wait, I want to see the briefs. Not the briefs. This <laughs> I read brief and super brief. I want to see the verbs. <laughs> Zork complaints. Uh, Zork will complain if you type a yes. That's cute. Okay, this is probably how I should do it instead of side by side. I'm actually going to do that. I feel like I've always done a grid like this. That works for like King's Quest. 
it did not really work very well for our <laughs> high res adventure games. And I think that's probably why. Forgive that you probably won't be able to read my terrible handwriting no matter what, but hello. Okay, this has given me a little bit better feel of how to... Wait, look, there's a go card. Oh, a sample transcript. Okay, um, verbs. Answer, attack, blow, break, burn, climb, close, count, cross, deflate, cut. It feels like there are, uh, there's more flexibility. More than just look and become, look inside, look behind, look under, look through, look at, and so on. I'm gonna keep this, I'm gonna keep this handy. <laughs> just add achievements for the DLC. Do you like the Cuphead achievements? Okay. Um, so we want to try, I guess we want to try and get in the house. What happens if we go south? South of house, okay. Hi, Tiber. No door here. You're facing the south side of the White House. There's no door here and all the windows are boarded. Huh. Go... North? Windows are all boarded, so that would be like going north. So let's go east again. Behind house. You're behind the White House. This little camera. The path leads into the forest to the east. Okay. In one corner of the house, there's a small window, which is slightly ajar. <gasps> this way is to the forest. But then I'm not gonna... <laughs> In the White House, we're gonna have to probably make another little mini-map. Uh, open window? With great effort, you open the window far enough to allow entry. Game support saving. Mm. Oh, how did we do this before? Default as CA saves or code. Okay. Uh, enter the file name. Um, first. Sweet, it worked. Okay, beautiful. Okay, <laughs> cool. Um, all right, so we're in the window. In the in the house. Look, room. Look around. Oh, go window. Go in window. <laughs> I'm gonna be so in that like Apple II brain. Uh, so we're in the kitchen. Okay. In. Uh. Oh dear. Uh, let's do it this way. In-house. Why does that lose focus? Alright, so we're in the kitchen.
Ignore this line. Uh, you're in the kitchen of a white house. A table seems to have been used recently for the preparation of food. Oh, a passage leads to the west. Of course. Uh, and a dark staircase can be seen leading upward. A dark chimney leads down to the east. Oh, down and to the east is a small window, which is open. Because that's where we came from. From east. <clears throat> The glass bottle contains a quantity of water. Oh, I'm skipping so much. I'm sorry. On the table is an elongated brown sack smelling of hot peppers. Ooh. The bottle is sitting on the table. Take the bottle. Look at sack. Do we open it? Open sack. Opening the brown sack reveals a lunch and a clove of garlic. Oh, that sounds important. Um, we might need to feed it to Baba Yaga. You never know. Let's go, so what? We can go west or up a dark staircase. Let's go west. We went west. This is gonna be not big enough. There are five sheets of paper that came with this, so fortunately we have room to work with, I think. But... Not so much desk room, obviously, as I'm running out of space already. <laughs> Living room. <laughs> Garlic. You could. You totally could. You're in the living room. There's a doorway to the east where we came from. A wooden door with a strange gothic lettering to the west, which appears to be nailed shut. There's totally a vampire in this house, isn't there? A trophy case and a large oriental rug, rug in the center of the room. Above the trophy case hangs an elvish sword of great antiquity. A battery-powered brass lantern is on the trophy case. There's so much stuff. See. Am I making more than one save? Yes. Nice. Yeah. Uh Can I look under the rug? Underneath the rug is a closed trap door. As you drop the corner of the rug, the trap door is once again concealed from view. Okay. Should probably be writing some of these things down. We're gonna take the sword. Get sword. Get lantern. We don't have any batteries. Open trophy case. Look trophies. Look trophies. Look at trophy. The trophy case is empty. Oh, okay. Then there was no point in opening it. Did you check that it really saved? Yes. We'll even try to uh, save that one again. Interesting stuff. Wait, that, that's kind of pointless to see if that actually worked. Let's um, uh, let's go east. So we're in the kitchen. Uh, let's go yeah. look room. Look around. So we're back in the living room. Okay, so yes, it did work. Uh, oh God. Okay, so in the living room, there's a door with nails. There's a trap door. What else was in the living room that we missed? Nothing. Trap door, door with nails. We got the lantern, we got the sword. Oh. Hi. It says right here. That's it. Oh, that's so nice. Okay. Let's, um, let's, uh, we can't probably open the gothic door, so let's try to go through the trap door. Open trap door. Move rug. 
The rug is moved to one side of the room, revealing the dusty cover of a closed trap door. Open trap door. The door reluctantly opens to reveal a rickety staircase descending into the darkness. Should we go upstairs first? I'm scared of the basement. Let's go upstairs. <laughs> Ascend staircase. <laughs> uh, go upstairs. You've moved into a dark place that is pitch black. You're likely to be eaten by a guru. Uh, turn on lantern. The brass lantern is now on. Sweet. Save. Spooky attic. Yay, we can have fun pile names again. The quantity is a little ambiguous, yeah. Might be like a one-time use thing. Alright. Uh, this is the attic. The only exit is the stairway leading down. A large coil of rope is lying in the corner. On the table is a nasty looking knife. Look knife. Why is it nasty? Look at knife. Nothing special about the nasty knife. Take rope. Take knife. Man, we have so much stuff already. Um, go down the stairs. So we're in the kitchen. Let's go west. Now we're in the living room. Go down stairs. Ooh, the trap door crashes shut and you hear someone barring it. Wait, what? Okay. Uh, trap door. This way. Up. Oh, we're in trouble. An ocean is a quantity. I would, well, that might get a little heavy. A human bat hybrid? That was what a guru was? We don't. Why? Why did we have that chair? Did we ever? We never used it. It must have been some kind of use. You were in a dark and damp cellar. With a narrow passageway leading north and a crawlway to the south. Ooh. On the west is the bottom of a steel metal ramp. I'm sorry, a steep metal ramp, which is unclimbable. Okay. Your sword is glowing with a faint blue glow. I wonder why. Oh. Okay, so we can go north. All way to the south. West is a steep metal ramp, which is unclimbable. So there's a ramp in there. Oh, should we go south or north? What do y'all think? South or north? Narrow passageway or crawlway? They both sound scary. I feel like a crawlway sounds scarier. We're gonna save. Spooky basement. Um, south. East of chasm. East of Chasm. The bottom of which cannot be seen. A narrow passage goes north and the path you are on continues to the east. Your sword is no longer glowing. Why was my sword glowing? Hmm. 
So I'm assuming if we take the passage north, we're going back to the basement. And then path yard continues to the east. Let's keep going east. Gallery. This is an art gallery. Most of the paintings have been stolen by vandals uh, with exceptional taste. Most The vandals left through either the north or west exits. Fortunately, there is still one chance for you to be a vandal, for on the far wall is a painting of unparalleled beauty. Hmm. Do we add another another thing to our list of crimes? Can't see any painting here. Look at wall. Which wall do you mean? The granite wall or the surrounding wall? Excuse me? Look at granite wall? Look at surrounding wall. There's nothing special about the surrounding wall. Do we take the painting? Oh, I spelled that wrong. Well, too bad. Um, can't see any painting here. What? Can't go east. It said that the vandals... Oh, oh, up. Wait. Why is up H down P M right and left K? I don't know that either. Okay. Look around. Vandals left through either the north or the west exit. So we could either go back west, I guess. What's north? Studio. This appears to have been an artist studio. The walls and floors are splattered with paints of 69 different colors. Strangely enough, nothing of value is hanging here. At the south end of the room is an open door, also covered with paint. A dark and narrow chimney leads up from a fireplace. Although you might be able to get up it, it seems unlikely you could get back down. So we could maybe escape the basement here, but not return. Look at paper. Congratulations. Again? <laughs> You're the privileged owner of Zora Coin. A self-contained, self-maintaining universe. If used and maintained in accordance with normal operating practices for small universes, Zork will provide many months of trouble-free operation. Well, thank you, Zork. Gallery. East of Chasm. Back in the cellar with our faint blue glow. North. Oh, God. Whoa. Hi. Whoa. Wait. What? <gasps> I went to the troll room. This is a small room with passages to the east and south and a forbidding hole leading west. Blood stains and deep scratches, perhaps made by an axe, mar the walls. A nasty looking troll brandishing a bloody axe blocks all passages out of the room. Your sword has begun to glow very brightly. The flat of the troll's axe hits you delicately on the head, knocking you out. Conquering his fears, the troll puts you to death. Oh, I'm sorry, troll. It appears that that last blow was too much for you. I'm afraid you're dead. You have died. Now let's take a look here. Well, you probably deserve another chance. I can't quite fix you up completely, but you can't have everything. This is a forest with trees in all directions. To the east, there appears to be sunlight. What? Thank you, game. But also what? We went north. I wonder if we're in the same forest that was to the east of the house. Troll in the dungeon um open our inventory we lost all of our things what? i um all right oh uh, yeah we're not yeah Look at trees. To the east, there appears to be sunlight. Go east. Forest path. This is a path winding through a dimly lit forest. The path heads north. I don't know what forest we're at, but I'm going to push us over here. <laughs> Maybe it's the same one. I don't know. 
the forest. We went east. And now we're on the path. Heads north or south. One particularly large tree with some low branches stands at the end of the at the edge of the path. Should we try to climb it? Hey, climbed a tree. <laughs> yeah, we lost them all, yeah. <laughs> Uh, you're about 10 feet above the ground nestled among some large branches. The nearest branch above you is above your reach. I see. Beside you on the branch is a small bird's nest. Then the bird's nest is a large encrusted, large egg encrusted with precious jewels, apparently scavenged by a childless songbird. The egg is covered with fine gold and lay and ornamented in lapis lazuli and mother of pearl. Unlike most eggs, this one is hinged and closed with a delicate looking clasp. The egg appears extremely fragile. Ugh. I have so many saves. Open egg. You have neither the tools nor the expertise. Unclasp egg. Okay. Take egg. So we have an egg. Can we go down, climb down? All right, so there was an egg here. We can go north or south. South. Interesting. Okay, so kind of. Oh dear. Um, south. Oh, do I want to draw a line like that? I guess so. Is it? North of house. Uh, wait, did we already go inside? Wait, hold on. You're facing the north side of the White House. There's no door here and all the windows are boarded up. To the north, a narrow path winds through the trees. So that took us back to our path. Uh, take bottle, take rope. So we can get our stuff back, maybe? What happens if we go... West. West of house, there's a small mailbox here. South of house, nothing. East is behind house. We could go back into the house and maybe get some stuff back. Or... East to the clearing. In a small clearing in a well-marked forest path that extends to the east and west. We go east. We get a nice canyon view, but I haven't gone north here yet. Oh dear. Let's say east. Near the top of the Great Canyon on its west wall. From here, there is a marvelous view of the canyon and parts of the frigid river upstream. Across the canyon, the walls of the white cliffs join the mighty ramparts of the Flathead Mountains to the east. <sighs> walls of the white cliffs join the mighty ramparts of the Flathead Mountains to the east. Following the canyon upstream to the north, Aragain Falls may be seen, complete with rainbow. The mighty frigid river flows out from the great dark cavern. To the west and south can be seen an immense forest stretching for miles around. Oh, so maybe if we go south here, a path leads northwest. It is possible to climb down into the canyon from here. Storm tossed trees block your way. Uh -huh. 
Okay. I'm gonna get us back to our north-south path over here to see what was north. I feel like that might connect. Oh, get yeah, knife. Okay, wait. <laughs> I went west here. And we were on a different screen. Oops. The distant chirping of a songbird. There's a brown sack here. Take the sack. West was more forest. You need a machete to go further west. More chirping of a songbird. South, more forest. Just toss trees block your way. West, more forest. South, more forest. East. The rank undergrowth prevents eastward movement. North. Clearing. Okay. So maybe we just needed to go north. So if we go west, we're behind house. Okay. Almost lost for a second there, but we're good. We're good. It's already so warm in here. Oh, Zork, thank you, Blue. So what I wanted to do is go north of house. North again to the forest path. North again to the clearing. I feel like it's a different clearing though. Uh, look at file. Move leaves. Done. And, a, and, a, and disturbing the pile of leaves. A grating is revealed. Um, open grating. Grating is locked. Okay. That's there. South. So we came from this screen. I wonder what happens if we go west again. You would need a machete to go further west. South is more forest. North is clearing. Okay, yeah, so this is the same. Uh, <laughs> like, we're west of... Oh, well, duh. I just called the clearing the forest for some reason. Okay, I made that super complicated and confusing, but it's all the forest. that you can't really see, but will help me at least glance and remember what they are. <laughs> Hi, E.T. It's good to see you. I hope you're doing well. Checks for Gru. We almost could have encountered a Gru, but instead we got murdered by a troll. But I do think we're going to go back into that house before we explore the canyon. So we're in the clearing. We just need to go west and open window. Too late for that. Look around. Oh, it's already open. Go, go in window. 
All right, so we're in the house again. This way over here. Maybe we can pick up some more stuff that we dropped again that we lost because of death. Like have our sword at the ready, perhaps. Definitely want to check out that fireplace. Okay, so we're in the kitchen. We don't have a lantern yet, I don't think. I think we lost it. Yeah, so let's go west. Ooh, ooh, get lantern. What, east. And <laughs> turn on lantern. It's already on. Oh, I hope we haven't depleted a lot of the batteries. Go upstairs. There's a table here, is that it? What a concept. <laughs> Go downstairs. Go down. Uh, back west. Look around. In the living room, there's a door to the east, a wooden door with a yes, which appears to be nailed shut, a trophy case, and a closed trap door at your feet. Look at it. It's empty. Can we open the trap door? Hey, I guess we go back down. Can we open gothic door? Cannot be opened. I feel like we need a hammer to remove the nails or something. <laughs> um, all right, go down. Someone bars it and we're back in the cellar. We don't have our sword. Yeah, cause it would be glowing right now. We have a nasty knife. Hold knife. Okay. Um, south, east of chasm, look in chasm, look down chasm, bottom of which cannot be seen, so we'll go back to the gallery and then the studio, we've already looked at the paper, <laughs> um, go up fireplace, go up, you can't get up there with what you're carrying, Like, we have too many things? Oh boy. I mean, just walk through the locked door like it's a pile of rubble. That was so infuriating. That's ridiculous. Um... doing weird stuff again, as always. Go up. Going up empty-handed is a bad idea. Okay, get all. Oh, our owner's manual. Read manual. Read manual. Okay, the same thing. Um, well, we might be in trouble again. Chasm doesn't lean downward? Too far to jump and there's no bridge. So I feel like, yeah, that's just, there's not, not a way to cross it right now. Trapdoor is closed. 
The door is locked from above. Uh, can't climb the steep metal ramp. Try to ascend the ramp, but it's impossible, and you slide back down. Alright, I guess we're gonna fight the troll again. Oh. Oh, it blocks up. Wait, okay. Oh, okay. Talk to troll. The troll isn't much of a conversationalist. The troll pauses for a moment, perhaps thinking that you should reread the manual. What troll? What? This is so cool. Like, I'm reading the example transcript. Like, there's so much functionality in this. That's pretty neat. Read carefully. I don't, I mean, I, I don't know, Manual. We're just gonna fight this troll. Maybe. Um. The troll, who is not overly proud, graciously accepts the gift and not having the most discriminating taste, gleefully eats it. Should I have given him the garlic or the sandwich instead? Oh no. Um. Oh dear. I shouldn't have done that. Give troll lunch. Oh. Look around. No, we're dead now. I gave you lunch. Am I gonna be able to find those things again? Okay, if we're in the rip forest back over here, I wonder if zooming in would help at all. It's still not very legible, but... So we have nothing probably again. Let's go east. Back on the path. Alright, so it is in the same spot. It's so rude, right? Climb tree. Look, nest. Look at nest. It's empty. This is the clearing with the pile of leaves. Let's see if it's the same clearing. If I go west, if I go west, we're in a forest. This is a dimly lit forest with some large trees all around. There's a sword here. I went east to more forest, I guess. Nothing special about the sword. Okay, so it's not our elvish sword anymore, I don't think. 
The forest thins out, revealing impassable mountains. That's a dead end there, I think. At least in the eastern direction. Boy. South is another cl clearing. Oh, wait, north. North was forest. I think some of these are the same screen. It's just confusing getting to them differently. Take knife. If I go west from here, we're behind house. Okay. so wonky. Alright, uh, take water. Take water. North. Take rope. Oops. Okay, so we're kind of at a point where we can't really progress anywhere in the house, but we might be able to find some more things still on that first floor or second floor. So I think we're going to go back in and look. And then maybe, I don't know if we can explore the field or not that we started off in. So let's go east. Did I not take bottle? Go in the window. Whoop. Dark chimney leads down into the east. So I think that chimney... That would take us to the studio. Interesting. We don't have our lantern anymore. <laughs> West, fake lantern, east, up, nothing there. Hmm. Look ch in chimney. Can't look inside a chimney. Look down. Down? Go down. Only Santa Claus climbs down chimneys. Okay. Uh. Exit. So we're behind house. West is more forest? Oh, we started in west of house. I guess. Forests around here. Look. To the east, there appears to be sunlight. Okay, so this. <laughs> this connects to here, western. That makes. No sense, but okay. So we started the game in this screen, and when we die, we end up over here. So far, at least. If I go back west, and then west again. Huh. Okay, east to the path, north to the clearing. This is so weird. Okay. If I go north of house, can I go any further north? North is forest path. Okay. 
Okay, so north of here also leads to there. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah, okay. Because this, we already marked this trail being south. Oh gosh, this is so wonky. So what if we go south? North of house. East. We're behind house. If we go south or south of house, can we go further south? Oh, more forest. Which one? But uh, take bag or sack. Just the clove of garlic, though, because we already fed the. I think we lost points for feeding the troll. Ah. Dimly lit forest with large trees all around. Okay, I don't know where in the forest we are though. Next to the clearing. Rank undergrowth prevents eastward movement. I need a machete to go further west. Storm trust toss trees block your way. North to the clearing. Okay. Okay. Uh, maybe we go explore the canyon, I guess. So we're in this clearing. If we go east, canyon view, look around. We're on the west wall of the canyon. From here, there's a marvelous view of the canyon and parts of the frigid river upstream. Across the canyon, the walls of the white cliffs join the mighty ramparts of the Flathead Mountains. The falls to the north. The river flows from a great dark cavern. To the west and south can be seen an immense forest. Got that. A path leads northwest. It is possible to climb down the canyon from here. Ooh, I don't know which way I want to go.